Hi, this is Lynn Suzek. Long time no see. So today I want to talk about the book I'm reading, The 4-8 Principle. And if your one of your favorite scriptures is mine, that one, you, you know immediately what he's talking about. The 4-8, 4 colon 8 principle. It's about Philippians 4-8. Whatever is good, whatever is noble, whatever is truthful, kind. I tried to memorize it so many times. And the words are, um, I don't have it memorized. So anyway, um, so far what, I, what I'm getting, the Holy Spirit is just really talking to me through this book. And it's not even always what the author is saying. I know that for, with my books. Um, it's like the author gets you started in a, in a principle that's biblical. And the Holy Spirit starts going. And that for you, that means, you know, this and this and this. So um, this 4-8 principle, Philippians 4-8, um, and that, that what, is, what he's talking about in this book, and I forgot the name of the author, sorry. Um, it's on Amazon. It's a very, a very a relatively new book, I guess. Um, but I'm reading it. So the principle is, you know, self-discipline with your, <clears throat> with your thoughts. And <laughs> I'm a total believer in that in that um, as you think in your heart, so are you. So I'm constantly coaching others about being careful with their thinking, you know, toxic thoughts. Um, and Caroline Leaf, a scientist for brain, explains in detail, you know, we, the physical effects that um, toxic thoughts have in your brain and what it does to your body so this is also the same principle you know over and over and this is so um so important for a christian's life and yet it's just goes you know you talk to people about it they, they it's being preached on and then people go huh <laughs> Uh, they they can't do it, you know. They can't because uh, so this book is is a step further. I have taken, I renewed a lot of my thinking as far as um, ability in spiritually um, ability. Like, um, let's see, I, like rejecting sickness. I've I've been renewing my mind for many years about that. So it is very renewed. I don't just accept things, any, you know, any bad, even the injuries. I have to keep reminding myself, you know, anything that does have, it start coming, some of it coming, it comes naturally to me, reject it. Sneezes no longer make me think I'm getting sick. I immediately bless myself and I don't get afraid anymore. Um, takes some mind renewal. So that's, renewing your mind to health, you know, and healing through the spiritual promises of God. And, you know, knowing that that's God's will does um, cause you to be able to, you know, agree with that and start renewing your mind and seeing results. Now, um, the next step that I'm getting, which is out of this book, is um, not just, you know, stop thinking toxic thoughts, but start, you know, being intentional with your thoughts. I'm gonna call it intentional thinking for the sake of this and other videos, intentional thinking. So I have like, I have learned uh, level one for me is, 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 uh, I had, you know, it causes like physical problems when you're thinking on things that are not lovely and you're trying to, I know I do a lot of trying to figure things out, you know, what do I do about this? But, and that is very necessary. I can't stop thinking, you know, 
about solutions and how can I help, you know, with the situation. But um, a certain amount of intentional thinking, like, so I'm not going to think about that, but when, you know, now I'm, I'm, I'm going for, if I'm not busy, like right now I'm doing this, when I'm, when I'm settled with, well, from one thing to another, I try to, um, now I'm trying to decide what am I going to think about, you know, and in the middle of the night, you can, you can definitely decide. Okay. So the, it's just super disciplined thinking and, um, and you know, the way that our thoughts are, so is our speech going to be. And, um, so I want to think, um, and vividly about moving my, my things that are not moving right now and, you know, rejecting paralysis and being excited about receiving, um, and starting to move and, and act on my faith. So I do a lot of that. However, I also need to come up with more. Um, I'm doing a lot of, um, I find myself, you know, doing a lot more, um, ability like, but, but I haven't changed the, the, the my, uh, the handicap is still the paralysis is there, but I'm starting to do way more than I used to do, uh, on purpose, but I'm in, I'm enjoying it. Like, like, you know, we've made some changes so that I can get to things. I keep them thinking about more things, how I can get to them and do it, do this myself, you know? And um, this is good. So this is another, like a new renewing of my mind just happening. But this intentional thinking is like, it's gonna take some practice. Um, so I'm reading it. I haven't finished the book, so I'm, he's gonna be coaching. Um, you know, forcing yourself to think on what you can do. Everybody that um, feels stuck what can I do right now? What, you know, what I have a lot of positive things happening in my life. So you have to really force yourself to think about and like purposely every day, you know, during, you know, intentional thinking moments that, you know, okay, I'm going to be thankful. I got to think of all the things that are going well right now. Our latest, um, blessings let's talk of you know let's count our blessings and um fill your mind with singing um you know, every you know meditating on the word as much as you can like having it in front of your eyes so you can just speak the word you know it's um believing you know that there's power in god's word and thank thanking thanking the lord thanking jesus uh, for specific things, uh, for working things out uh, ahead of time. You know, a, a prayer is, thank you, Lord, for, you know, healing this relationship, uh, doing things, you know, doing something about this problem here, uh, praying for other people, thanking, thank, just thanking the Lord ahead of time. We expect you to, you know, work this out. Thank you, Lord, that things are going to change for the better. So this is, you know, lots of intentional thinking that can be done. And what that's going to do is cause um, things to happen, like just natural, almost naturally. Like instead of trying to figure out how do I change my circumstance so that I can be happier, it's how do I change my thinking so that these things are just going to come right so scriptures and um so far that's what i have you know just the intentional thinking uh deciding ahead of time what you're going to start um, replacing your thoughts with so as soon as you find yourself passively um thinking about something it's gravitating towards something that you don't um that's not helpful you know, something that, that 
you feel, even can feel the results of those those thoughts being, um, you know, you feel depression or um, the loneliness or um, just unhappy thoughts are going to cause feelings, and you should start to re realize, you know, catch yourself, but also now I'm. Um, we're talking about intentional, um, like ahead of time, like proactively thinking on certain things. Now that is something that no matter how you say it, and in church, or if, they, if people, even, if they talk about it, it's so um, unfamiliar, I'd say with, with most people, that they can't even grasp it, nor, you know where they practice it but it is I'm gonna this is gonna be a journey for me this is a good uh, pathway for me to start seeing things naturally start to change without me trying to figure it out you know um, the Lord does give me ideas and I do them and the wisdom you know but I think the intentional thinking of thanking the Lord just for helping and all these things Whatever it is that I'm, you know, concerned about, I think is is a very new and necessary path we can take. Amen. Thanks.